Hey guys, it's me, Greg from the Talents Nature Center. I'm joining you again for a digital creature feature. This week we are doing something kind of special. We are hanging out in our Glen Vista Gallery. This is where we display some of our art from local artists. Um, and this week it actually ties in very well to our creature feature. So let's see why. So this week we are talking all about moths and butterflies. It was recently National Moth Appreciation Day. And so we thought we'd show some love to our um, winged friends. So these are some common butterflies in Michigan and we're going to talk about how this ties in to an artist in just one second. So we can see we've got some swallowtails. These ones are pretty recognizable for our Michiganders, our monarchs, and then there's our viceroy or our false monarch. A fun little way to tell the difference between them is their size. The viceroys are a little bit smaller but then also you'll notice they have that little vertical stripe on their wing that the real monarchs do not have. Oh, he fell off his little pin. But yeah, so these guys are pretty cool. All right, so about our artist. I'm gonna put up her little blurb on the screen. You can pause it to read it. But her name is Molly Burgess, and she makes the most amazing textile or fabric insects and arachnids, I guess, if you're counting our spider, right? But, like we said, we're here today to talk about our moths and butterflies. So here's our first moth. We can tell it's a moth because it's got a nice fuzzy body. Um, butterflies usually have slender, smooth bodies. We can also take a look at its antenna to identify it. Butterflies have those knobbed antenna, and moths usually will have different types. They can be feathered, like this one. They can be branches. They can be little filaments. Um, moths have a very wide range of antenna. So thinking this is a moth, I don't know what kind. Here's Peter the snail, and I love his little shiny slime trail he's got going on. Here is a bumblebee, I like his little fuzzy body. This is another great pollinator, right? We know that moths and butterflies are also pollinators. They help get the pollen from the plant to the plant so that they are able to reproduce and go to seed. Here's another really cool moth, Venus the moth. Once again, we look at those feathered antenna. Another little slime trail on the banana slug. It's got some kind of crazy antenna and eyeballs. Here we have another arachnid, Simon the spider. He's got some really cool gold detailing on him. Here is one of my favorite types of moth that we're going to be talking about today, a luna moth. So this right here is actually not too far off from their actual size. I've seen them um, about that big in comparison to my hand. So they can get pretty big and they're really cool to see. They uh, flying around. They almost look like a bat or a bird at night. So moths and butterflies eat primarily the same um, thing when they're adults, right? They eat, oh, this is awesome cicada. So cool. But they eat nectar, right, when they're adults. Here's our monarch. But when they're larva or their baby form, they have usually what's called a host plant. And so um, certain butterflies will lay their eggs on that host plant. Like we all know that monarchs love milkweed. Um, and they will only eat that plant as a larva until they get old enough to um, go to their cocoon or their pupa. And after they become an adult, then they drink nectar. And some species of moths... Um, actually don't even have mouths at all. So they stop consuming food when they are larvae, and they actually just continue the rest of their life without eating anything else. Ooh, here's a cool little cricket. I love the little flowers on its thorax. Chloe the cricket. All right, and then we'll move over to our last little wall. I think these are all moths. That is super cool. These sequins. Another moth with its feathered antenna resting with its wings open. A lot of people don't know that that's, a, that's another indicator between a moth and a butterfly is moths usually rest with their wings flat and open like this, but you'll usually see butterflies resting with their wings closed. Kind of like the difference between a dragonfly and a damselfly. This one is really cool. I love the little eyes on its wings. Watching you. Another little black moth. It's very fuzzy. All 
right, and then our very last one. All right, thank you guys so much for joining us. Once again, the artist's name is Molly Burgess, and I hope you guys all get the chance to come out and see this awesome exhibit. Um, and I hope I taught you something about monster butterflies today. Thank you so much for joining. Bye-bye.